Hello and welcome back to day five of the Lego Advent Calendar. It's Lego Chef UK with you today. Basically, went into town today and um, went down to the Lego store. If your local Lego store have any left in stock, the Star Wars Advent Calendar has come down to $14.99 now. So get yourself down there, grab yourself a cheap Advent Calendar so you can catch up or if you want to as a collector just keep it all pristine and together as you can see on day four we got this kind of like uh, battle theme which i think i believe uh i said was out of the phantom menace so if i'm wrong please i think they're all like a little bit out there kind of thing on the shelf kind of designs because it is completely different but if I am wrong, please leave a comment. And from the Lego City, we got a nice little husky dog with its bowl and bone. So without further ado, we are on day five today. So let's try and find it. Do, 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 day five, right. And we'll get you in there. So day five is here. I am hoping for a minifigure because, you know, it's the main playable sort of to make the story and the scene come together. And no. What even is that? Is that a sledge? Let's pull you in. Put this back to straight. Uh, where is it there? What are we saying? A sledge, guys, for that? A little ramp with a sledge? Nothing on the front of the box like sort of gives it away either. But hey, let's bring you down and we'll get building. Let's get these out of the way. There we go. So I hope your December is going well. You know it's winter. It's starting to get dark early. And let's see what this... Yeah, it's definitely sort of like a sleigh or a uh, um, bob sleigh. So, because they are cool, really nice little bits, to be fair, for the actual skates for this. So, it'd be nice if we had, like, a little bit of string in that. We could put the husky on so the husky can pull um, the sleigh as well. Uh, uh, um, I don't quite understand this bit, though, unless that goes... Yeah, I don't quite understand that bit. So, this bit goes onto there. Like that. And these go in there. These are really cool, actually. I do like these. So, facing. We'll get it built first. This is when big fat hands do not go well with Lego. Because it's hard with the fiddly bits to put it together. Oh, and I believe we have got a spare skate. So these would be cool just to put on your minifigures as well. So they look like they're ice skating. So get you a closer look at the actual blades there. So it goes in like that. So that's really nice and nifty. As I said, you can possibly put that on. Let's try it on the little boy on the bottom of their feet so they can go ice skating. Yep, yeah, there you go. So that fits really well. So they can go ice skating then. Ooh. So yeah, that's a, that's a spare piece. So there we go. A sleigh. Not quite too sure why we have the white piece. It might come apparent later on. Because on the actual design, it's kind of like that. Unless that's where you sort of park it. Don't know. That's a bit of an interesting one, isn't it? Let's try and get these more half and half. There we go. So that's the offering for day five. To be fair... The only impressive impressive thing about these are the um, uh, the sort of sleigh um, blades. So like the ice skating blades there. Yeah, day five, not impressed with City. Can Star Wars make it better? Please make it better, Star Wars, because I'm not impressed with that one at all. That's a bit disappointing. What do we got here? Ah, a minifigure. So this looks like a droid. Let's zoom you in there. 
there we go that looks like a really cool looking droid with a nice face piece looks like but on a normal bit so let's bring you back pull you down so star wars is for me basically on the win for playability well playability they're both good but for sort of like aesthetics and what you're kind of expecting from them and i know you know you've got to keep it in mind that lego chef uk it's the bigger picture after 25 days you've got something to play with i do get that i understand that but you know it's an advent calendar you spent 20 pounds on this 20 pounds to some people especially to me is a lot of money because you know i don't get any um sponsors for doing this it's all off my own back it's all off my own money and you know and it is my hobby so you're kind of looking for a little bit extra to be frank with you hang on a minute what's going on it right so this might be be another way oh no okay i get you so you've got a spanner it's basically oh the head bit uh gun bit there is it one of them so these look like you can change the um oh no let's i've put that bit on wrong so that's an arm that might not be an arm uh, do, 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 do. So I think you get different types of arms with this and I will show you afterwards. So we'll put a bent arm on first. So that's really cool. So you can actually change his pose and everything as well. Oh, losing them bits. So this is what I mean by like the uh, available, uh, sort of like the usability. So that's obviously we got on the new speed land. So there is if you can see that just a normal piece not really a lego head but it's a normal lego piece that has got some um, printing on looking at it closely yeah it's not a transfer by look, so it's proper printing so that goes on there like that does it not why can't i get that on there then or is it because it's upside down it's upside down there you go so there we go, this is pretty much finished. This goes on the back so he can carry an extra weapon. So you do get a rifle and kind of like a handgun with this. So that's cool. I do like the fact that he can, it's like a multiple carry. And his gun, right. Aha, I see now. So that is why there is different arms so he can carry a weapon in one hand there we go and there's our minifigure that's really cool i do like the legs it's only up and down sort of articulation the arms go up and down but that's no bother really gun on his back that is really cool and we got a couple of spare arms and ooh, a couple of spare arms and a spare wrench that goes in the spare drawer so there we go day five on the advent calendars a minifigure which is a droid very nice um i do like that because it can carry two weapons and for lego city a sleigh with a ramp by the looks of it or yeah by the ramp i can't really work that one out or where you park it so again guys thanks for tuning in Thanks for the support. Are you going to stand up? And if you are liking these videos, please leave a like. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Hit that notification bell button so you don't miss a single thing. This series will be going on until the 24 days because uh, it's only 24 windows and I'm guessing 25 days you play with the whole set. But as always, guys, thanks for tuning in. All you LEGO collectors out there, keep collecting. Goodbye!